darlings, this is Kitty the Messy Silver with Royal Appleberry. And today we are making a soap out of my new boo thing. My mold, my, my acrylic clear slab mold that I got from Custom Craft Tools. I told you her name is Alex, so we will be using Alex today. And the colors I am using are Sunset Peach, no, Peach Sunset Mica from the Conservatory. Um, I repackaged this. I, I don't even know if the Conservatory is still open. I haven't, I've not... I've not gotten anything from them in years. But anywho, um, I also, in this cup, I have a turquoise mica, which I repackaged, which is from Nurtures. And um, I am using a Lush dupe called Flying Fox. And I was kind of on the fence about it. I'm like, I'm not sure how I feel about the smell of it. Oh, one more thing. Let's rewind. This shiny, sparkly stuff in here. <laughs> that is Snowflake Mica by Nurtures which is here and it's not really good for just a mica on its own because it kind of clumps or separates not clumps it separates but it does give a nice shimmer in other mica so that's why I just kind of added that in there um, the thing about the flying fox when I first got it, I'm just like I'm not sure if I love this but um, once I just kept smelling it and now that it's just been kind of sitting out and I kind of like open the bottle and let it air out a little bit I'm like okay well yeah I, I think I do like this a whole lot and so and my reasoning behind putting the snowflake mica inside of these because like my oranges and things like that I don't care but darker colors like this they tend to like have a flat although it's like a shimmer mica like it's really shimmery right now even before I put the snowflake in um, it, it's kind of like a, a, a matte and I don't really like that look especially when I have a shimmer and a matte so I'm trying to add a shimmer to both um which orange would have the peach would have done that on its own but anywho so I got mixed reviews on this fragrance uh some say that it seized and accelerated some say it didn't so like I always say it's based on your recipe you can't really say oh because it sees for this person it's gonna happen for me you just kinda gotta play with it yourself so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of my soap base once I put my uh, lye in here and then I'm gonna put an ounce in here and I like to always do heavier um, fragrance in my little test batch because if it seizes or acts funny then I'll know if it if it stays nice and flow I know it's gonna play well inside my bigger batch so let me get everything mixed in and then I'll bring you guys right back and we'll start making soap. Okay, I decided to pop back in. I'm not done mixing everything. I've already put my lie in here, but I missed a few things. Yeah. So, I'm going to use a square bottle. I have some brown oxide in here, just a little bit. Um, this is going to be accent color, and I'm also going to take a little bit of this color and put in another squeeze bottle. And um, just very little, because I want a very, very pale peach color. And um, that is going to be my accent, because I'm going to do a mantra swirl in this slap mold. So, that's the reasoning behind all of this. It will make sense in a minute. But now I need to test out this um, fragrance to see if it's going to misbehave or not, you know. But if it does, I do have a backup. <laughs> I do have a custom blend that I am going to use. It's going to be, um, let me remember, goji berry, orange, orange goji berry, papaya, and blah, 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 I forget which the last fragrance is, but yeah if this doesn't work that's what's going to be and then i'll tell you notes for sure on that so now let me get my little cup what did i do with it oh here it is so i'm gonna go and pour off just a wee bit and then that's all i'm going to use right there set that off to the side and let me grab a popsicle stick or a knife a little plastic knife works just fine too so i'm going to go ahead and put this full one ounce in here and see what happens and normally I can tell kind of quickly fairly quickly um, I it was two reviews that said it raced I see no racing um, and normally racing happens fairly quick um, and then you can feel your the side of your bowl 
Okay, so yep, yeah, it does thicken up. Which, I'm okay with that. As long as it doesn't get crazy thick, it's not hot. It's not warming up at all. As long as it doesn't get too crazy thick, then I can still work with it because it still will work for what I want it to do. Now, as I can see, this is getting thicker and thicker. So, by this being a pretty potent fragrance, I'm wondering um, if I just use maybe two ounces because I would really like to use it. So, as you can see how quick that thickened up right there. I'm just going to let it keep going just to see how thick it gets. Yep, so it was true about the uh, acceleration, the quick acceleration. Now, mind you, I use one ounce and this is not a pound of fragrance oil. So, it may not be that bad. Um, I'm actually going to be ballsy enough to dump this in there and try to use it. See what happens. Um, so, I'm going to put it in there before it gets too crazy thick where I can't do anything with it. So, because I would really like to use this fragrance oil, I think it's going to fit the theme of what I'm trying to do very nicely. So let me grab my spatula. Yep, see that's pretty thick. <laughs> like I said, I'll just get it out here and mix it into here and see what happens. And I really don't see that it's going to make this whole batter thicken up. I think that would just be kind of crazy if it did. Because that little bit that I use will have to turn into concrete immediately if it was going to do the same for this entire batch. So I'm just going to kind of mix this in by hand. And then I'll take a stick blender to it in a little bit to break up the lumps. <laughs> Put that blend in there's still a few uh, lumps but i'm not too concerned about that just because um i got some more stick blending to do so i'm gonna set that off to the side and i am going to add a little bit more and hopefully <laughs> just hopefully i'll be able to get the design that i want without it going crazy on me so i poured just that much i'm not going to use very much orange or peach should i say and I, yeah, there's a few lumps, just a little bit, nothing crazy. And maybe I should go ahead and stick blend this the most and then hand stir the rest. I think that's what I'm going to do, so. The notes on this fragrance, I forgot to tell you that too. I'm just scatterbrained today. Jeez, what's going on, Kenny? The notes on this fragrance is uh, described as clean and fresh, is jasmine. Rose, Lang Lang, Lily, and Sweet Vanilla. So this is pretty nice. That's why I'm so keen on using it. And um, honestly, this uh, this this design doesn't have to be super fluid. Actually, I would prefer not to for it not to be crazy fluid. Um, I can feel like it's just a wee bit warm on the bottom, which is okay. So I'm going to. I might, I'm, I'm living on edge, so <laughs> um, I'm going to only use two ounces of this fragrance, but like I said, it's a very strong fragrance, so two ounces I think would be just fine, and I'm going to hand stir the rest in here, and hopefully we don't have any issues. It's really nice smelling though, so hopefully this plays well. Because if it plays well, then maybe I can be bold enough to get three ounces in here. <laughs> so, we'll see. Just baby steps here. Alright. So, I'm going to start with my... Yeah, that, that warmed up quite a bit. I feel it. It's, it's pretty warm. But, it hasn't curdled yet. But that's uh, still too early to tell. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get... Oop, that's real dumb. I'm about to make a real mess. Get this. It's a little lumpy. Yep, it's a lot lumpy. <laughs> yeah, it's getting kind of getting kind of thick. Like I said, I don't mind the thickness. And now that I've used a bit more, I am starting to see some ricey lumps in here. So yeah what they said was true but I get I, I still got lots and lots of mixing to do because I'm going to um, 
supporting my colors same thing so I'm gonna shut up and go ahead and get this going before I won't be able to do anything with it hey guys so uh, clearly you can see there's going to be a change of plans um, I haven't figured out what those plans are as of yet but I figured this could be a learning video for you all when you have a soap that seizes or thickens up too fast or heats up or accelerates because this is doing all of that so what this is is just plain old water yes I do add quite a bit of water and um, it's not going to do anything to it. It's like accelerating. It's heating up. So it's going to thicken up very quick. It's going to suck up that moisture. And it's not going to take a whole, uh, like a seriously crazy long time for it to cure out either. Um, that's just from my experience. So I'm going to take this. That's kind of cool looking. <laughs> but I'm going to pop this out of this cup and put it in this bowl. That's weird because that one's like way thicker than this tool one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use Alex today because, of course, the very first soap I have to do, I'm going to do, and Alex needs to be perfect. And um, this will turn out nice, but it's not going to turn out to what I want it to be. So there will be changes. So I'm going to kind of break this up. And it's like very soft, but it's just like the consistency of peanut butter. So I'm going to keep like breaking this up into chunks. And then once I get it where it's starting to accept the water, then I'll kind of stir it in a little bit faster. But yeah, I figured, because I've had this happen a few times, it's not a big deal. It's just patience. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute because it actually does kind of soak up the water when you let it sit so as you can see this one is turned out pretty smooth and it's nice and loose and it's going to have like those lumpy bits in it but what can you do about that I don't want it to stick blend it because I'm trying to get it to loosen not thicken now the color that's the thing the color does change so I'm not even sure if I still want to continue on with my original plans. This is so thick I can't even get it out. There we go. There you go. Yeah, this bag is warm. I mean like crazy warm. So if I were able to get this to work, that would be a miracle. It really would. So I'm going to plop that in there. And of course, I'm going to have to add a wee bit of water to that too. Not as much. So, I'm just going to a little splash, squish splash. And then I'm going to leave this over here. I'll get around to it at some point in life. And now, I'm just not sure about this brown anymore. But um, we're going to see what works. Yep, I still have the crazy, crazy soap adventures. Oop. But um, I'll just make it work. And that's what I do. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Not too far back out of the view. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I don't think I want to use Alex for this. I'm going to save Alex for... I'm having a soap that is behaving perfectly. And as you can see, I didn't get much brown. So I'm going to fast forward this while I stir it because, I mean, it doesn't take a crazy long time, but it takes a little minute. And I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long either. Color's nice though. so <laughs> we are back and everything is um, as smooth as it's gonna get 
so I decided why even waste my time um I just don't want to I don't want a soap that's misbehaving to go into my beautiful new bowl I know that sounds weird but I'm just weird like that so now this is nice you know still has lumps in it but I don't mind those lumps um I forget which Bohemian's going wild, going well. Um, I did a soap uh, that kind of had the same effect, and it did get lumps in it, and I just let them be, and they worked out. So I'm trying to decide. Like this is kind of just going to be like a plop of the mold type thing. Don't ask me what made me want to do this. I just do. So that's what we're going to go with. So, um, I got a little bit more to go and my battery's about to die and I don't want to like skip over a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm, I don't have that much left, but I would really hate for my battery to cut out because it is flashing pretty hot. So I'm going to let it, um, charge for about 10 minutes and then, because this is not going to get any thicker, <laughs> not right now anyway. Um, I'm almost done. I'm going to finish slapping this into the mold. You won't miss anything. And then I'm going to bang it down and then uh, I'll bring you guys back before I texture it. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I don't know how much longer this battery is going to last. I didn't charge very long, but I'm going to have to take some of this and mush it over just because I got too much in one area. And I don't want an uneven soap, but this is actually kind of cool looking. Huh, maybe I'm onto something here. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to muck around too much. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to muck around too much just because I don't know how much longer this battery is going to last. So, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try my best not to overdo this. I don't want it to be muddy. And then, um, we will give it a little bit of a texture. Yep, use a spatula to clean off a spatula, right? <laughs> but whatever works. Okay, so. Um, I don't think there's a real need for me to smack. The, well, I'm going to try one time to smack this down. Hold on. Now that I've done that, I don't know what type of texture I'm going to come up with for the top of this. But we're going to come up with something because I'm going to have to go soon. Cause this battery is not gonna keep hanging out with me while I muck around so we're just gonna keep doing this and I don't mind if it's a rough texture on the top I kind of like it and I think I am going to put a little bit of glitter I don't know what kind but I should have had all that before I even brought you back I think this is gonna be cool though I like the colors. I'm not going to lie. I really do like the colors on this. Okay. Yep. These are really cool colors. So there we go. And I'm going to give it one more hard smack. Grab some glitter. Sprinkle it up. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Actually. Um, am I going to. Let me look at the bottom of this first. I'm thinking. Yeah. I can actually flip this over. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah, you see that? 
This is actually kind of cool. I was going to swirl it, but I'm not going to. I was going to swirl it all the way through, but I don't think it matters. So, um, let me take this glove off. <laughs> you guys saw here I, can, I sound pretty uh, hurried or rushed here. Because I just want to be able to do what I want to do with it before my camera cuts off. <laughs> and then I'll bring you back for the unmolding, which of course it'll be on this video. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yes, glitter. I'm telling you guys, glitter makes everything just nice. And I was going to put some white on here, and now I'm not. And this glitter is from Rustic Essential. This is Extreme Tangerine. Please go get some of this, because it just gave this soap, like, a whole brand new lease on life. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I'll see you at the cutting. Hi, darlings. So, um, I am back with the cutting of this soap which is a lush dupe called flying fox and um i didn't really have to do an unmolding because um later that day because this is a couple of days later later that day i just kind of flipped it upside down and then as soon as i did it just fell out the mold so i didn't really have to do much to it but um now um, i just kind of went around and trimmed the edges i love the way this looks it is absolutely gorgeous and I was not a fan of it at first I'm just like yeah, I don't know and I told Gabe I'm like I don't know how I feel about this but this is actually so lovely I almost don't want to cut it I can like frame it <laughs> put it up on the wall like a picture <laughs> but um I'm gonna and I noticed like um I smell like a bit of honeysuckle in this soap I don't know I didn't see honeysuckle in the notes I don't believe it probably the jasmine because to me Honeysuckle and Jasmine, they kind of have the same tone, like notes. I don't know how to explain it to me. So I'm going to turn this oval on its top. And the bottom is really pretty too. Isn't that gorgeous? So, trying to figure out the best way to cut this. I have a knife. And I was thinking I would do it with a knife, but that's probably not the best idea. So I'm just going to take this. Um, soap cutter and hopefully I'll cut it neat <laughs> in a straight line because you guys know I suck at freehand yes I do so I'm just gonna start at each end and I'm trying not to push too hard because I don't want to mangle the top but it's nice and hard so that's a good thing and then I'm going to cut the rest with my single bar cutter. Alright, and these little cutters right here, I know like you can find them in Michaels or what have you, but I got these from eBay. I think they were like a dollar and some change each, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Shop smart. I love spending a whole lot of less money. <laughs> that saves me money for more things. So um all right let's get this in here and move that out of the way and i still got some residue i don't even know what soap i just cut oh my niece <laughs> my niece is the sweetest little thing ever um i made her a little valentine's day box which contained like some little bubble bars and she's seven some little bubble bars and um some jelly soaps and little bitty sample soaps that I had uh, I gave her some Southern Belle I think and she sent me a video message it was just like thank you so much auntie for <laughs> for the gift I really appreciate you did such a good job <laughs> she's just way too cute I just love her so yeah that's what that residue is now so I always have to go back in and clean these up um, after you know the cut but that's fine I'm going to take this off and hopefully I can get a good cut the size I want. Yep, perfect. Alright. Perfect. Yes. So I, I do, that is so pretty. I do like this mold. I like the size. I really would have liked to use Alex, but like I said, I got to make a special soap for Alex. But um, this turned out really, really nice despite it's uh, cutting up on me, and I don't know what I'm going to name her. Bad girl. No. <laughs> I don't know, because she's really 
Oh, that smells nice. She's really pretty, so bad girl doesn't really fit, but um, I'll come up with something. But I do like this soap. I do love the way it turned out. Honestly. Okay. And what I like about this mold, because it, like, it's just a plastic mold, but you can, oh, that's crumbling. You can follow the grids on the back and just cut along the grid. And that way you don't have to, if you're like me and you're like cutting freehand challenge, <laughs> then you have to worry about that. But man, I love that. That looks so pretty. That is definitely very, very spring. I don't know what this music is playing. It's like some teeny bopper singing some, I don't know, song about some girl they love. And it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, this is nice. I gotta do a photo sesh because I gotta get a lot of soaps listed. So yeah, go over to my shop for those of you who have been waiting. Um, the man soap is ready, and the cat's pajamas is ready, and uh, romance me, and quite a few others. And there's a lot of stuff on sale. This is beautiful. I cannot believe how that like thickened up, and I was just plopping it into the mold, and how pretty that turned out. I really do like that a lot. I like all sides of this soap. I like the bottom, I like the sides, and I love the top. But yeah, I got some good stuff over there. And I'm trying to clear out all of my uh, winter and fall soap. So yeah, there's a lot of soaps over there that are like three bucks. <laughs> so go get them while you can. Yes lovely lovely I mean they pretty much all look the same so I'm not gonna cut both uh, ends I'm just gonna cut this one and then um, that'll be it so if you guys like this video please be sure to give a thumbs up it is greatly greatly appreciated if you're new to my channel hey I'm so full good happy you found me Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you decide you want to come back over and over again. And if you want to become a part of my stinking awesome crew, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, and you will be part of something awesome because my subscribers are awesome sauce. I mean, like seriously, I have the most amazed balls subscribers ever. So, yeah, we would love to have y'all. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that one. Isn't that squirrel print? Can you scroll that? That's so gorgeous. Love it. I'm a fan of these soaps. These colors are just doing it for me. And yes, I was hoping that it would have done what I wanted it to do, but this is as equally pretty. I don't told you. I don't know what's been going on. It's like my soaps have been backfiring on me, but they always end up turning out to be something nice anyway. So I can't complain because that's really lovely. Very pretty. All right, guys. So, love hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing everything you do. Please be sure to tune in next Sunday because I'm here every Sunday. At least I try to be. But, <laughs> um, I would say 95% of the time I am here. And, um, I try to put in some videos when I do have stuff to give. So, sometimes you may see me twice a week. And if you want to get a notification of when I post a video, that way you don't miss out on anything. All you got to do is hit that notification bell, which is right over in the corner. I think it's, yeah, in this corner, <laughs> right there. Um, hit that bell, and whenever I post a new video, you can run over here and see what I am up to, what soaps or mess I am making, or it could be anything. So, once again, love you guys, and I will see you in the next making video. Bye.